So without Mark Wood, Michael Atherton, who has an elbow injury and is not expected to bowl again in this innings, potentially this match, how big a blow is that for England? It is a blow just because of the, the nature of England's attack, which is a bit one-paced without somebody like Mark Wood. England have got three bowlers that they think of are 90 mile an hour plus in Archer, Stone and Wood and two of them are not here because they're injured and obviously they were hoping Mark Wood could give them that extra bit of zing in the attack but it looks like he's certainly not going to bowl again in this game. It has to be a doubt for Barbados. I mean we don't know the extent of it but you know for, for a fast bowler having a, an elbow issue is, is clearly not, not good. And it means the broad Anderson narrative doesn't go away for England either and, and Andrew Strauss of course. Well, it doesn't, but they've made that they've made that decision, so there's no going back on it. Um, and they suggested that I don't think that either of those two are, are thought of as, as reserves for this trip. So they'll have to look elsewhere if they want to bring anybody in. But they've got Fisher and Mahmoud uh, waiting in in the sidelines. I mean, I thought uh, Saqib Mahmoud should have been a, a shout for this game. Actually, looking at the pitch, he's a kind of kind of reverse swing bowler that probably would have been. Um, a likely type on here um, so they've got one or two options moving forward. Is Matt Fisher out here purely to get some experience? Do you think Mahmood would be the next cab on the rank so to speak? I think Mahmood would be ahead of him uh, he's played a little bit for England albeit at one day cricket so far and, and if the pitches are going to be like this um, he's got a bit more pace and an ability to reverse swing the ball um, but clearly Fisher is there as well as an option. We've seen Robinson, Ollie Robinson bowling at, at lunch. That's a boost though, isn't it? If he does come back and they lose Wood, then England aren't too depleted. Well, the trouble is, it's a kind of, well, I mentioned it's a one-paced attack and Ollie Robinson is that kind of a bowler. He's a very skillful bowler, but he's an 80-mile-an-hour bowler, not a 90-mile-an-hour bowler, and England have got plenty of them. Having watched him bowl at lunchtime, he doesn't look as though he's two minutes away from full fitness, I, I would say. It looks as though he's easing himself back into, back into fitness. So whether he'll be fit and available for Barbados, we'll have to wait and see.